Motivated by compassion, the Buddha wanted to help others understand what he had understood so that they, too, could be free from suffering and unhappiness. But was it possible for him to communicate to others what he had realized? As he sat under the Bodhi tree, he looked out over the world. In his mind's eye, he could see a pool. It was full of lotuses. Some of the lotuses were still submerged in the mud at the bottom. Others were beginning to grow upwards through the water. Some of the flowers had reached the surface and, standing clear of the water, were opening in the sunlight. The Buddha knew that all beings have the potential for enlightenment. He could also see that people were in various stages of development. Some, like the lotus buds, were just beginning to grow. Others, like the lotuses reaching towards the sun, were ready and would be able to hear the truth and understand for themselves. And so the Buddha resolved to let others benefit from his newfound wisdom. He would teach what he had discovered to anyone who was willing to listen. The Buddha sat in the shade of the trees on the bank of the river. The sun was high overhead and the air hot and dry. It was now seven weeks since his enlightenment here under the Bodhi tree. It will soon be the rainy season. I will set out tomorrow to find my old ascetic friends. Perhaps they will understand what I have understood, he thought. The next day he began to walk to Sarnath, which lay a hundred miles away to the west. On the way, a truth seeker called Upaka saw the Buddha coming towards him. There was something about the approaching figure that made Upaka stop dead in his tracks. Here was someone utterly different from anyone he had ever seen. Upaka's first thought was, this is not a human being. So he immediately asked, what are you? Are you a forest spirit? The Buddha simply replied, no. Well, said Upaka, are you an angel? The Buddha again said no. You must be a god then. The Buddha shook his head. That is strange, thought Upaka. He must be a human being after all. Are you a human being? Once again, the Buddha had to reply, no. You're not a human being, or a god, or a spirit, or an angel. So what are you? I am none of these, Upaka, for I am beyond all those levels of being. Therefore, I am a Buddha. This was all too much for poor Upaka. May it be so, friend, he replied, shaking his head. And he went off down a sidetrack. 